Hi, Jimmy Mashte, Book of Wajiri Desu. Hey, everyone out there in YouTube land. I, uh, I thought other people would have had their own answer for this question, uh, or there would be more videos on it. So I'm popping my experience out there, and basically, well, title and what you see on your screen. Uh, this video is not suitable for most advertisers. Um, is that how it's worded? Not suitable for most advertisers, yeah. Uh, request review. Now, <coughs> what you're seeing on the screen currently is um, both before and after. On the left is before, where you'll see not suitable. And on the right is after, where I'm. it's monetized. I'm not getting views, really. <laughs> uh, it's part of my YouTube career, though. But you'll see it is monetized. Um, if you are dependent on the first, you know, the first day or two or week of views, because if that's you know where the largest audience happens for you, um, then what you're going to want to do is um, schedule it out you'll see that the videos are scheduled. This gives YouTube enough time to scan it the first time. And that first scan is is like a, is like a lunch rush. You know, they're, they're, they just straight up, um, you know, look at it. It's like judging a book by the cover. Uh, Anything in the title automatically puts it on the list. Anything like obvious, any loud, uh, loudly spoken certain words put it on the list. And then, I don't know how long later, but it obviously happens again. Uh, something is probably slowly scanning it, more intuitively scanning the video after it's put on this, that list because two or three, four days after I'll get the uh, not eligible for, or not suitable for most advertiser, uh, advertisers notice on the video, it comes off naturally. I don't request a review. Uh, the video's not even public yet, and it rolls off. It rolls to normal monetization. So if you do it that way, no need to panic. Um, Schedule it out, basically. And I'm kind of doing this video on the fly. It's unscripted, but that's the way I do videos. Um, I let me pull up this, the, the image I'm going to use. That way I can actually point out direct things, because I'm actually not looking at the image I'm going to use. I'm just recording. All right, so the very, the, this is uh not photoshopped. I didn't even photoshop it. I, I used, uh, what, MS Paint? Or Paint, as it's called now. Um, I used Paint, took screenshots um, before and after, because I kind of had this planned. Uh, and tonight, I saw, I was watching the Orville show. Uh, well, a YouTube reviewer that talks about the Orville. Uh, I'm pretty sure his name is the Orville show. Let me look at it. I've got his page up actually because I paused him. Um, it's Egotastic Fun Time. The Orville's rating uh, ratings double. Um, he has 4.8 thousand views. So he, he's bigger than me but a smaller YouTuber. Anyway, so this is why I'm putting it out. For those YouTubers that are uh, more profitable than me, honestly, but not Philip DeFranco. Because, you know, Philip DeFranco has, has Patreons and uh, actual ad sponsors and everything for, I don't, yeah, anyway, you know, you know how it works. If you don't, then it's basically that. You get a sponsor or you have Patreon supporters. Uh, you, you put your own um, ads in your videos, something like that. But for smaller people that don't have many Patreons that are still larger than me, because, uh, like, my monthly is, is probably five bucks a month. 
Uh, that's not a big deal. But that five bucks a month comes from the first views I get. The first views are typically the day I release it. Uh, if you look at Fallout 4, Far Harbor Quest, Episode 3, LP Episode 3, I have no views. That's been out for, what, three days? Today's the 29th. Um, no views. Uh, it has one like somehow. So I think, I don't know how that works, but uh, it has one like and no views. Someone, what, popped by and paused the video and dropped a like and left, maybe. I don't know. That might have been my like because it doesn't count my views. Um, if if before like before tonight I had it set up to where my liked videos automatically went to Twitter so as a way to post them I would like my video it, I, I wouldn't have to type a Twitter post but now I just use that built-in um, feature where you can it tweets it automatically from like when it uploads it I, I hadn't used that for ah, yeah, for a reason but the reason's moot now. It's a moot point. Uh, staying on topic for this video, something I rarely do, but I'm going to try. So you'll see Fallout 4, Fall Harbor Quest, LP Episode 4, 5, 6, and 7. Um, they're all not suitable for most advertisers. Uh, you'll see that I uploaded them on the 21st. And they're scheduled to be published. Um, well, all of them, actually. A and the same thing happened to Episode 3 and 2. But they th those had already rolled off. Um, and I believe, it I br believe the algorithm prioritizes the, the list of quote-unquote banned videos by uh, priority of when it's going to publish because as you see all of these posted on the 21st I didn't I failed you in getting a screenshot of them all being not suitable quote unquote banned uh, or quote unquote not suitable I guess we could call it because banned means it just won't show up at all so the top four not suitable um, and you'll see on the left, underneath the um, underneath the title, is the date I published it, uh, uh, October twenty first. Every one of them. On the right column, on the left hand side of the screen, it says uh, October thirtieth, October 29th, October twenty eighth. Those are the dates it will publish. You'll see that October on the very right hand column. Episode 7, it's the top on both left and right hand sides. God, I should have uh, just did this live screen so I could point my mouse at it. Anyway, you'll see it's still scheduled for tomorrow, which is the 29th now, so it'll come out tomorrow at 8 p.m. It's clear. Um, they all cleared. They did not all clear at the same time. That's why I think the algorithm looks at the publication date. Uh, you have to think about this. It's an algorithm. It YouTube gets millions of videos. What do they claim? Millions of videos an hour. So anything that has gun, um, like I've noticed, if it mentions, like this video, it's probably going to be flagged because I'm about to say meth. Uh, I had a video for the longest time that was not suitable because it had meth in the title. It still does. Um, I, I requested a review on that one. Luckily, I had enough views on it to get the review done because uh, it finally came off. I, I, I didn't check it every day, but tonight I noticed, well, a couple of hours ago, I noticed it was no longer uh, flagged. Um, and, you know, I refused to change the title and I refused to republish the video. It's It, it was not, it was, anyway, if you want to watch it, what it was about, you can see, but it wasn't not suitable. <laughs> however you say that uh, it should not have been flagged um, so yeah I, uh, I've, I noticed uh, like I had to get a uh, a Google Ads promotion uh, reviewed that I was I'm running now it's currently running 
but it had to be reviewed because I had pistols and knives only in the title. It says if you use this, you know, we're going to have to review it. You can't post it. You can't start the campaign immediately. And I'm like, well, that's what my permadeath challenge is. It's about pistols and knives only. So it's relevant to the, you know, promotion I'm using. So, yeah, no, review it, please. Um, and, yeah, I'm giving that a shot just to see if that gets me any more views or s uh, subs or whatever. Um, so, yeah, that that's the, the, the gist of it. Post it early. Um, uh, uh, schedule it out. Like, don't just... Uh, don't just record. I know you want to record it and get it out now because that's, you know, you get the views now. If you do that, if someone's going to view it, it, you'll start now. But if it's not suitable for most advertisers, you're not going to benefit from it if you need or if you're doing it for the ad revenue. If you don't care, if you're not monetized anyway, then don't worry about it. Um you probably, if you're not monetized, you're not going to see this this message, I would assume. But the other side of the coin is, keep in mind that YouTube still advertises on your video that's not suitable for most advertisers. Uh, some of the ads, some, some advertisers don't give a shit. Uh, and the other side of it is, even if they're not showing ads for your video... There's ads at the top of the screen. There's ads on the right-hand side for other YouTube products. Uh, and whether or not they pay you less for that, I don't know. Or if they credit you at all for those because they flagged your video. They're not going to, if they can, they're going to keep their dollar or their penny. Or whatever the rate is. Uh, that's just business. So keep that in mind. Like, Work with the algorithm. Don't fight it. Uh, don't get upset about it. Do like I do, and publish it out. And push it out. Uh, you know, well, you can see here how far out. Um, I uploaded them on the twenty-first, and the first one on the list, was, well, well, the very bottom of the page, is going to come out four days later on the twenty-fifth, and it's already clear. So four days. I would say, um, do I have, let me pop in, I'm going to have to listen to this and edit it, let me pop in a video, not a video, a picture from, from today, okay, so this one, uh, similar situation, it's pushed out, and it's already cleared, a lot of the videos. Now these are publishing out of order, but if you look at the title of the videos, that's why. Um, the, like episode 6 at the very top, I had a copyright strike against it, so I had to re-edit the video. Well, it wasn't a strike. Let me clarify that. I had a copyright warning. If you don't publish the video, that's another good, that's another, uh, uh, that's something I didn't think about till just now. That's another side. Uh, I'm playing Fallout 4, and I, I don't turn off the radios. I, I turn them on, actually. Well, it turns out one of the songs in there is um, copywritten, and I, I got a warning about it. So if you publish right away, you're just going to get the strike. Um, but if you uh, time it out, if you schedule it out like I did, and you know, check every day or check the day after you schedule it before it posts, you get the warning. It's like, hey, this is this has copyrighted material in it. You can't monetize it. Uh, it will be monetized by the copyright holder. And I'm not sure if that counts as a strike or a warning or any of that, but you don't want that on your account, period. So I was like, cool. I tucked down the video immediately, although it wasn't public yet. It was still scheduled, like you see all of these are scheduled. And then I went into the video and I muted uh, that because it tells you exactly where it is and exactly when it starts and ends in your video. Uh, so I went in, muted that section, and put a note over it and uh, a different 
like I put music so it's not just muted. I you know, put a, a background song that uh, that you can use. You know, uh, what do they call them? Uh, copyright free or public domain, whatever. Uh, it's a silly song, but I, I use it for instances like that. Uh, I've got a I've got a small library of music for that. Uh, so yeah, there. Th th that's another reason to do it. But you'll see, episode nine of the permadeath challenge is uh, not suitable. So it cleared everything on here except episode nine. That probably means in episode nine I talk uh, more about either my drug stations, you know, because in Fallout Four you have um, you have uh, chemistry labs that you build drugs in. I mean, y you make drugs. They're uh, Fallout 4 drugs. They enhance your perception or intelligence or whatever. You know, they're they're game mechanic related. Or I excessively talked about pistols and shooting and killing and all that. Um, so I'm popping this video straight out tonight, though. I mean, if it does get flagged, it, that's fine. It's for you guys. It's not for... Uh, my ads, so whatever. Um, I don't know if they get a lot of views or not. I've probably been recording too long, so I'm going to leave it there. And thank you for watching.